people right now. We're pretty much the only people here, which is a good thing. We but that would quickly change. This morning, more than 700 students calling Raiderville home. The number's over 1,200 right now. We've got over 170 tents out here. They have two 1,300. Yeah, about 200 tents out there. Tents line the east, north, and eventually the west side of Jones Stadium by weeks in. The students created their own city, Raiderville. Is it called it Tent City? Tent City? Wow, you had to correct yes, them. Right. If people didn't know early in the week, they certainly did by weeks in. This is a happening, man. It's like Woodstock. Oh, I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be hectic. We are camping it up. We're having a lot of fun. It's just going to be nuts. Everyone out here is super stoked. We have Raider Power going at 3 in the morning. Raider Power! You grew up in Wyoming, much much of a camper? Actually, was kind of. Uh, I was. Uh, not so much camping on concrete, but I think I could adjust. Students quickly adjusted to their home away from home, thanks to free food from coaches. It's really our pleasure to, uh, to have you here and to have you as our fan. And even visits from players. And before we go, we've got uh, we've got a superstar here uh, eating some wings. How are the wings, Brian? Wings are awesome. It was a long week in their home away from home, but considering the outcome of the Red Raiders game against Texas that weekend, it's well worth the wait. Front row for the best game in the history of Tech.